Hello, good morning, good evening, everyone, all of you intrepid uh, members of Aptos. It's another Move Monday. Uh, first, I'd like to list a couple of disclaimers. Uh, there are many things which are coming soon, some of which are covered in our FAQ. Uh, the only timelines that we can really uh, answer right now is mainnet launch is coming in Q3. Incentivized test nets are going to start uh, in Q2, which I guess we're in now. So those are coming soon. Uh, any, you know, we're a proof, a delegated proof of stake network. Any questions around tokenomics, the ambassador program, um, the white paper, uh, specific and detailed plans, all of that is coming soon. Um, and that is the, the best I can do in terms of the answer for that. Uh, we have a community manager actually who is starting officially on Monday, which is super exciting. And when he joins, he'll be able to help us with leading a bunch of those, those programs. Uh, yeah, do you, want, you guys want to introduce yourselves again? <laughs> Don't make that. Sure, okay. I'm Max. I'm uh, one of the engineers here uh, focusing on ecosystem. I'm Tukun. I'm an engineer focusing on what needs to be focused. Hi, I'm Avery. I'm the CTO. Uh, I'm Bo. I'm an engineer. David, unfocus software engineer. <laughs> Uh, Rusty, production engineer. I'm Sherry, I run DevNet. I'm Greg, software engineer. Cool. And with that, you want to talk about the, uh, the release update? Cool. Yes, uh, we had another release last Thursday. Thank you all for upgrading your notes and then following through the runbox and ask great questions. Um, as again, uh, we, know, we have a couple of changes like major coming in the last release. There's uh, address uh, format changes. Uh, our address are changing from 16 bytes to 32. So whatever new uh, old format peer IDs or identity keys you generated, you will have to regenerate all of them again because of format changes. And uh, you might have to recompile the code yourself if you're using running the Rust yourself uh, from the binary side. Because like uh, it is a breaking change, so if you run on the old binary, things might not work, and you will see all kinds of errors. So please upgrade, following through our documentations, and let us know if you run into any issues following the documentation. We'll keep improving them, but obviously we welcome contribution too. So if you find an issue, feel free to create an issue on our GitHub. Or better, submit a PR for the changes. We really welcome our community contribution. And we have a really sh uh, new, shiny, new NFT module and tutorial coming with this release. I hope all of you had a chance to try out the tutorial and create your first NFT. There is also a TypeScript SDK coming, uh, written by uh, Max. So try it out. Uh, Max, do you want to see, say something? Sure. <laughs> yeah, it's published. It's on NPM. You can do uh, yarn add aptos or yarn or NPM install aptos. Uh, try it out. Releases are going to be relatively frequent. And if there's something you want to see, please uh, let us know or preferably open a PR. We'd love to see more community contribution. Awesome. And we will have a new release coming this week too. Again, like uh, please follow our DevNet release channel. All the major release features, uh, things we wanted to call out will be posted in that channel. And please follow the DevNet, uh, a Dev Node Ops channel for any node questions. Um, yeah, we'll have like more features coming, like the Stasync V2s or like a parallel executions, lots of new exciting features. So stay tuned. Also an indexer. Yes. So that's coming hopefully this week and there will be Probably after the release, maybe by Friday, uh, but there will also be updates to the Explorer to be able to filter and see incoming and outgoing count transactions and all those fun things many of you have been asking for over the past couple of weeks. So uh, if you are here and you have experience working with Move, if you have questions, if you want to talk about some of the projects you're building, uh, this is definitely the time. You can raise your hand. We'll invite you on up. I do want to have a shout out to the node tester written by Jason Zhang. Uh, it's nodex.run. These are community projects. These are not owned or related to Aptos, but they're just very, very cool. Uh, it's, this was uh, Jason Zhang's uh, node tester was one of the first out there, and many people have used it and found it very useful to verify that their node is correct. 
and everything is set up correctly. And then uh, Serhii Pimenov uh, has a node tester visualizer running at nodetools.net. Uh, it's gorgeous. The visualizations are fantastic. And we're super excited to, uh, to see community projects coming here. So I guess now we can uh, open it up to questions. Yeah. Let's go to the questions in the thread first. Yes. Now we're people to the stage. When is it possible to test out the validator functions? You can test it out right now. We have options for folks to run local testnet. So if you wanted to experience uh, how to run a validator node for now, you can uh, spin up your own local test. There is one tutorial we have on the same uh, Athos.dev website. So try it out and let us know. Mm -hmm. uh, where can I find the official docs of Move? Each layer one has each version of I think we are using the Varina moves. So like if you just go to the move books, that should describe what we have. And if we have modification on that, we will release our own documentation. Yeah, sometime within the next week or two, we'll have the Aptos official documentation for our platform. And any, uh, aptos.dev is a great place to start. We link out to move resources and we have a couple of tutorials uh, for building on our network as well. How are we proved as a participant of Incentivize Testnet? Uh, that will be coming next, soon. Uh, is it possible to run the node from a smartphone? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, that's not entirely true. Yes, a validator node is a little difficult, but it's possible to, to do light node or at least have a verifying client uh, in the future running from your smartphone that talks to a larger node, uh, but still gives you the cryptographic verification that what you're seeing is uh, correct. And if you just want to have fun, you can always run from your phone, but it's not something that we would uh, yeah. recommend unless you really enjoy really hot devices that don't last for very long. Yeah. If you do get it running, if you can compile it uh, for your device and you do get it running, that would be really cool to see. Uh, but it, it is not a uh, officially supported uh, platform for, for our nodes. Some people got it running on Raspberry Pis, it looks like, but... That's close. Yeah, yeah. close. So theoretically doable. <laughs> um, let's see, is it easy to transfer applications from Ethereum? Uh, yes and no. Um, a lot of people, you know, Magnum can speak to this, a lot of people have had a really surprisingly good time using Move uh, from their perspective, especially coming from a lot of other chains that, you know, it's very easy to create insecure contracts in Ethereum. Solana has its whole thing around serialization and deserialization, which is kind of painful. Um, I, I suggest you, you try it out. Uh, it's a different platform, of course, different language, different tool set, but I, I think it'll surprise you too. I think one of the big differences to contemplate is in Ethereum, it's the smart contract that keeps track of things. So for instance, the map, you know about a token ID and that token ID will tell you who the owner is. Whereas in Move, it's the, the owner, the user, owns the asset and so it's not so easy to go say here's a token id tell me the owner but instead you can go to the owner and say what token ids does the owner have just to give an example of like an nft type of application um excited to hear about future activities especially ambassador program it's coming soon will there be one yes also coming soon uh, Again, our community manager starts next monday yes. uh, like april 11th so hopefully he will be definitely driving all those things in super fast pace and then announce something soon.